kids returning to the classroom in the fall. Well, parents in Greenville County have the chance right now to tell the district how they feel. Fox Carolina's Matt Koufax looked at the survey for parents and uh, has a report for us tonight. So what all is it asking folks, uh, folks about, Matt? Yeah, Cody, the district is asking parents to keep an open mind when they fill out the survey. They are trying to take the pulse of the community, knowing that they have folks that are on both sides of the fence. For parents like Sarah Burdishaw, who will soon have four kids in the Greenville County school system, there's only one viable option for fall. I hope that schools will be fully open for students to attend full-time, Monday through Friday, in person, in a traditional classroom. She says parents who don't feel comfortable sending kids to school have that right, but she needs to return to work to support her family. There's no other way to do it except for me to stay at home and my husband to continue working. And that is hard on a family of six to have one income. Tim Waller with Greenville County Schools says they get it. We know that a lot of parents just want to send their kids back to school and, and, and wish that this COVID-19 pandemic had never happened. Uh, but unfortunately, we can't ignore uh, the health implications of what's going on. The survey the district sent out asks parents about their level of comfort in sending kids back to school. It also asks important questions about e-learning and internet access. Waller says they are considering all options. It could be an altered schedule. Uh, this group of kids goes on a certain day or a certain time of day. And then the following day, another group goes to school. Uh, and maybe it's a combination of e-learning. The district recently ran a simulation where they tried out social distancing with furniture in classrooms. Waller says they have not yet figured out a way to keep distance with in-person instruction. The district also says they are developing a plan to be able to transition seamlessly to online learning if schools are forced to shut down midterm. Our best guess right now is that there will be an expectation that kids will go back to school for in-person classes, uh, but just not in the same way that, that people are used to, to seeing that happen. The survey will only be online until June 24th. After June 24th, it will not be available any longer. So there is a limited window to give your input if you want to do so. We will have a link to that survey online as well as in our Fox Carolina News app. Cody, back to you. Matt, thanks. Greenville County School Board also met to approve the second reading of the district's 2021 budget. 